tuning in. Today we're actually going to be comparing a few different AI language tools, primarily ChatGPT and BART. You know, as we kind of feed these two different tools, you know, new prompts and ideas, uh, we'll mainly be watching to see how they react to these new different situations. It's going to be a really great learning experience. Um, and it can really help you and your business kind of decide the strengths and weaknesses of both of these tools and which one you would want to invest your time into. I'm super excited about this topic and I can't wait to dive in. I hope you're excited too. But you know what, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so diving in, I'm going to be using ChatGPT um, with plugins so that it can have access to the web, just to make it fair because Bard will have internet access as well. I'm going to start us off with an easy prompt that both of them should be able to answer quite well, um, just so we can kind of see the differences in their thought processes. Um, I'm going to have it write me a poem about a classic movie, Star Wars A New Hope. Let's see, I, I'm going to be quite interested to kind of see how both of them handle this. Um, and then I'll copy and paste it over um, just to make it a little bit easier on myself. All right, we can already kind of see that Bard outputs the information much quicker than ChatGPT. Um, ChatGPT takes a little bit more time, but let's see how that affects the quality of the work though. And, you know, already just kind of glancing at the poem written by Bard, um, it looks like most of their lines rhyme pretty well, um, except a few of them the words look as though they should rhyme, but when you actually pronounce them, they just don't. Um, so that was kind of a failing on that part. Um, and, you know, the overusing of a few words. I, I'm honestly not... I wouldn't be super satisfied with what Bard gave me. And then taking a look at... ChatGPT's poem. Um, you know, I can already tell that I can. I like this poem a lot more. You know, in a galaxy far, far away, where the stars do brightly shine, a tale unfolds of courage bold and the annals of space and time. A ship pursued by the Empire's might under the starry dome carries a secret, a message of light, a new hope to bring home. I can already tell I like this one, yeah, quite a bit more. Um, you know, I asked for a retelling of the A New Hope movie, and I feel like ChatGPT's poem did that a lot better, um, glancing through it, than, than Bard's did. You know, and I know poetry is very opinion-based, um, you know, as is most art, but I do think ChatGPT probably did a better job on this one, but, you know, we'll see how it handles the rest of the tasks and prompts I'm going to be feeding both of them today. All right, and I guess, you know, since we're on the topic of art and good television, uh, this time I want them both to write me a song. I'm going to have it write me a song about Scooby-Doo and Mystery Incorporated. Let's see how this goes. This one I'm a little excited for. I've had ChatGPT write poems in the past for fun, but never a song, so we'll see how, how this works out. Alright, looks like ChatGPT is already going. Oh, and wow, it looks like Bard was unable to generate anything. Interesting. Huh. I guess taking a quick look at ChatGPT's, um, I like the verses. That looks pretty cool so far. Um, it does look like the chorus they're using is a play on the original 1969 cartoon theme song, but it still looks good. Honestly, <laughs> if this, this song ever got finished, that would be pretty cool to hear. You know, maybe in another episode we can test out some... Uh, 
other AI tools like the AI text to voice and text to music to, to maybe complete a song like this. That'd, that'd be fun to try out, kind of see how it, you know, write a complete song and publish and produce it with, with AI. That'd be an interesting, interesting experiment for sure. But, you know, I guess we're already seeing that even though Bard pushes answers out a lot quicker, um, it's not always more thorough. So sometimes slower can be better, but I guess it's kind of up to you. You know, if you're re really in a hurry and you need something fast, Bard could definitely do the trick for you um, if it's able to produce an answer. Um, but sometimes, you know, slower is better when it comes to language models like this. Um, you know, okay, I guess for this one, I want it to <laughs> settle an age-old debate. Xbox or PlayStation? I'm going to ask it to give me a seven point list of pros and cons. And I guess we'll see how it interprets that because I'm not being super clear. I'm just asking for a seven point list. Um, so it'll be kind of see, you know, cool to see how both of them view the meaning behind that. Let's see how this goes. Paste it over here. All right. I guess ChatGPT is using WebPilot. That's a good sign. Oh wow, Bard is already finished up. So, wow, ChatGPT is using more WebPilot. That's always good. Getting some more recent information on the consoles. So it looks like Bard already finished. Looks like for Xbox they gave me seven points, four pros, and three cons. Um, it looks like ChatGPT is going ahead and starting a little bit over there. They give me three Xbox Pros. Uh, and for PlayStation over on Bard's side, it looks like they give me four Pros for PlayStation and four Cons for PlayStation. Um, that's a little, a little odd. I don't know where they, they got that eight from, but looks like ChatGPT gave me three Pros for Xbox three pros for PlayStation and one common con. So that's a total of seven points, which I guess I did ask for. Um, I'm not sure where Bard got the, they gave me seven and then eight. So I'm not sure where that 15 points came from, but you know, I wasn't super clear in the prompt. Um, so I guess that's, you know, another call to, um, as we were talking about in our earlier episode, being clear with your prompts and as detailed as possible definitely helps. I was, purposely vague in this one to kind of see, um, you know, how they would both handle that, but, um, oh, nice. I do like how Bard occasionally will input a, a table without you asking, you know, and it really works well. Um, especially, you know, if, if you're having a smart, small business or anything, they usually, yep, there it is, export to sheets. So it works really well with Google sheets. Um, you know, if you're, if you're you know, if you're using it for business, um, and I know ChatGPT also can, you know, input a table if you, if you ask it to. I'm sorry, export as a table. Um, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have it without having to to ask it. Um, I know, you know, Google's Bard hasn't been around as long as OpenAI's ChatGPT, but I do feel like it hasn't been giving as satisfactory results, like the the 15 points versus you know the seven points I got from ChatGPT. And I do feel like um, after reading through some of Bard's points, um, they were kind of repetitive between Xbox PlayStations, whereas with um, ChatGPT, we got you know new fresh points every time. All right, for this, <laughs> these last two, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to have them give me a compelling argument on why ChatGPT is better than Google's Bard. And then on the last one, just to keep it fair, I'll do the opposite. Um, looks like ChatGPT is already getting right into it. Oh, and Bard has not generated anything. Let's see if we can... That's strange. ChatGPT is still going. I'm going to see if I can try that again with Bard. Um, has ChatGPT go goes? I like how they number their points. Um, still nothing from Bard. Um, I do like some of the points ChatGPT is making here. 
it would be interesting to, to read more in depth through all of them um, to, to keep an eye out for hallucinations, because I know that is something that can be an issue. Um, there's no denying it. But it is, it is kind of disappointing that Bard was unable to generate anything in this instance. But um, yeah, like I said, kind of reading through some of those points. Um, you know, it's they're not they're not bad at all. Um, I'd be interested to see you know, how it does for why Bard is better than ChatGPT. You know, kind of reading through and comparing those two. But yeah, I am kind of disappointed about about Bard in this instance. All right, so actually a, a quick edit after going back and messing with it, um, I was able to get Bard to generate a response um, from the same prompt I used earlier. Um, it looks like you know they produced quite a few points um though after i had read through it it was one thing kind of stood out to me um i didn't read through as thoroughly as i probably should have um, but i did see it mentioned that chat gpt is more affordable um, and chat gpt is available through a variety of pricing plans while google bard is currently only available through a paid subscription now correct me if i'm wrong but you know, feel free, but I don't know. I believe that that's not the case. Um, at least I know that I haven't paid for any, you know, barred features as of yet, um, you know, possibly because it's still in the experimental phase. So that might change and I'm just unaware. Um, but, you know, that's just another example that Bard also definitely has hallucinations. Um, I know it is kind of common with ChatGPT. Occasionally you will run into that. Um, but, you know, it's probably something we're going to run into all language models, uh, as we see right now with Bard. All right, last but not least, um, to be fair, you know, um, I'm doing it the other way around so we can kind of see both. When I attempted this the first time, I had a plugin error from ChatGPT, which caused it not to load. And then Bard was not wanting to cooperate at all. Um, so I'm trying it again. And it looks like ChatGPT is working for me this time. Uh, Bard is still not generating anything. Um, still not getting anything from Bard, though it does look like the plugin for ChatGPT did not work. Because I do see it mentioning um, training cut off at September 2021. Um, I can't imagine why Bard is just having so much trouble generating responses to some of these questions. Um, I do feel like they're pretty simple. They're not like those long detailed ones, but maybe that is the issue. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of where I was talking about um, the plugin didn't work because it is saying last training cut off in September, 2021. Um, so that's something definitely to look into. Um, but, you know, as of, you know, they, they got us numbered points, which was nice um, and good to see from, from ChatGPT bard is still not um producing anything well i guess um you know i've had a, a surprising amount of errors from bard throughout all of this experimenting um you know it did not seem to want to cooperate um you know as near as much as chat gpt um you know and it's been interesting to compare the the differences and how the two different models think and the differences in their answers as well um and you know maybe you know, like I we we mentioned, you know, trying different prompts, experimenting, editing um, prompts definitely helps. This is just you know very simple prompts I'm using here today. So, if if you have issues in the future, you know, always I recommend editing prompts or maybe trying to regenerate or just entering a new prompt. It's you know experimenting when it comes to why something failed is very important. So just keep that in mind. Um, but you know today was just kind of a just giving both of them the exact same thing and seeing how they handled it differently. So I guess some key takeaways um, is that both of these AI language models have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, one important thing that I didn't mention was that I've been using ChatGPT4, um, which is a paid subscription and it comes with the plugins and the internet access. Uh, now Google Bard um, is free and it still has that internet access on pretty much the same level that ChatGPT4 has. Uh, but ChatGPT 3.5, which is their free version, does not have that same level of internet access. 
Um, so it's, yeah, like I said, it's important to keep in mind that both of them have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, Bard also has, you know, access to more um, languages other than just English, as well as more um, programming languages as well. Um, so it's, and two, you know, with it having that internet access that the free version of ChatGPT doesn't have, it makes it a really great option for those of you who want to try something, you know, out before you spend that $20 a month on it. Um, but I want to say, you know, it's, it's really great, you know, to, to experiment with um, these type of things at home and not just watching videos on it as well, because um, that hands-on experience really definitely does help. Um, but, you know, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel because we'll most definitely be having some more informative videos out there about AI and how it affects you and your businesses. Um, if you like the video, feel free to hit that like button um, and, you know, stay tuned because we'll definitely be coming out with more content soon. Thanks.